Hey guys, this is David with Laptop Mag, and today we're going to show you how to get tethering apps without using the Android Market. Okay, so in this procedure, we're going to use PDANet. Um, it's a popular tethering application for Android. Uh, so the first thing you need to do, since you can't get to it in your market because it's been blocked, you can download the APK file manually by clicking on this link here and saving that to your computer. Okay, so now that you have that APK file on your actual device, you're going to go to uh, a file manager. So if you don't have a file manager already on your device, you can go to the market, uh, and Astro is a good one that's free. So that's the one we're gonna use. Then you're gonna go to wherever it is you put that APK file. So you'll see mine right there, com. Remember it starts with com, so when you're searching in alphabetical order, you make sure you look for C and not P. We're gonna click on that. Click Open App Manager, Install, click Install, and wait for it to install. Okay, so once it's installed on the phone, we're going to scroll down through our apps to find it. We're gonna click, uh, you can either do USB tethering or Bluetooth tethering, which means that if your laptop has Bluetooth, they can connect and you can tether through that. Today we're gonna do USB tethering because that's what most computers are gonna probably have. Uh, you can ignore this and just say, no, I already installed it, because we're going to get to that in a second. And now that it's running on the device, we're going to turn our attention to the computer. Okay, so now you're going to download the PDA Net desktop application. This is the program that goes in conjunction with the application on your actual phone in order for you to tether between the two. So we're going to click on that link right there to be taken to their site. And then you can do it for Mac, for Windows, whatever it may be, choose the installer for you uh, and download it, install it, follow the instructions uh, until it's installed on your computer. Okay, so once you have the PDA Net uh, program running on your actual desktop computer or laptop, um, then you can just turn on the PDA Net if it's not already on, plug them in via USB and they should automatically find each other uh, and you should be able to tether. And that's it, enjoy.